The Great Barrier Reef World Heritage Listing identifies aesthetics as a key heritage value. UNESCO recently reinforced the need to monitor that because aesthetic value, particularly underwater, might be changing along with the ecology of the reef. Our team has studied several aspects of this, which are about to follow. The results that we present in this uh, brief summary video um, it can be categorized in, in, in five different areas. Um, from the underwater scenery uh, to cultural differences, um, brief exploration on coral restoration projects, and then the use of social media um, and artificial intelligence uh, to, to score images for their beauty. Within this project, we want to answer two important questions. One, what makes underwater sceneries of the Great Barrier Reef beautiful? And two, do people share similar beauty perceptions of the Great Barrier Reef despite their social cultural differences? Therefore, three reef user groups with different social cultural backgrounds were recruited in our research. They were Chinese visitors, First Peoples and non-Indigenous Australian citizens. Research outcomes demonstrate that aesthetic beauty is neither totally objective nor totally subjective. Three participant groups shared similar recognitions of environmental characteristics as key beauty attributes, including water quality, biodiversity, coral health and richness, color and naturalness. Compared to two other groups, first peoples tend to give higher scores for beautiful sceneries and lower scores for polluted sceneries. This could be explained by their special attachment and connection to country. However, social cultural differences among three groups contribute to less than 10% of variances in aesthetic beauty ratings. So, in conclusion, environmental characteristics play a more important role than social cultural associations in explaining beauty evaluations of reef users. This report echo the Queensland First Nations Tourism Plan, which suggests that we need to draw on First People's stewardship of culture and country and build capacity to foster the development of authentic, engaging and sustainable tourism experiences that respect First Nations cultures, knowledges and connections to country. And we found that the perceived beauty of coral restoration sites positively increases perceived benefits and emotions towards coral restoration. This perceived beauty might help us act as an incentive in terms of building trust and hope to aid coral restoration efforts through people's direct involvement. There are opportunities for tourist operators to build on this and use tourists as a valuable workforce in restoring reefs. Social media is a great data source for tracking the mobility of tourism and get to know what do they talk about. We use Twitter in this project, but we also extract data from Xinlang Weibo to specifically focus on Chinese visitors. By using machine learning technology, we have developed automatically targets identification and advanced sentiment analysis for traveling at the Great Barrier Reef. A photo aesthetic assessment of GBR is a challenging problem. We developed deep convolutional neural network based algorithms and achieved promising results for aesthetic assessment. More specifically, we developed an efficient and effective attention based uh, convolutional neural architectures and propose that to improve learning efficiency by adaptively adjust the weights of more patch during the training process. It is the first study of its kind in image aesthetic assessment. We adopted a residual, residual attention network and standard resonant architectures, which achieved state-of-the-art performance image recognition task on benchmark datasets. We report and demonstrate our findings on photo aesthetic assessment Two sets of data sets consist of original images and images with mask attention patches. We also applied state-of-the-art language modeling technique to analyze state sentiment analysis and tweet categorization. 
So uh, based on uh, annotation of images and also annotation of uh, tweets, uh, uh, we uh, developed, uh, as it has been mentioned, uh, new methods uh, for uh, aesthetic calculation and sentiment calculation as well, and uh, build a, a website on the big data server uh, where you can upload the image and the system will calculate the aesthetic value and also uh, it, you can uh, calculate the uh, sentiment in a specific tweet, including the topic in addition to relationship between the words and other uh, components. So in a nutshell, this research has shown that it is possible um, to measure and monitor the aesthetic value of the Great Barrier Reef. Um, using a simple one to 10 ugly beautiful scale. And we have shown that this is possible uh, to do so across cultural groups. Um, we also have demonstrated that manual monitoring can be complemented by machine-based uh, monitoring. And uh, so we recommend for reef uh, manager in the future in the development of a long-term aesthetic monitoring program to use a hybrid approach where in situ manual monitoring can be used because that can then capture other dimensions of the aesthetic value and um, um, that to be combined with large scale um, social media based image um, um, computer based annotation for automated scoring. <laughs> 